Thank you, folks. And let's actually bring out the founder of the Fallen Angels Dance Theater, uh, Paul Bayes Kitcher. Paul. Thank you. Thank you so much, and oh, thank you pleasure. for that. Thank you very much. Uh, so first question, of course, is the performance itself, is that, is that something that's specifically choreographed, or is it more kind of improv, in, in, improvised? Or? Yeah, um, a lot of it was, um, uh, they call it like a structured improvisation. Okay. Because when we're in our workshops, we work with a lot of kind of breath and letting go of the, the head. Um, and so it's almost like letting the movement go through you rather than you trying to kind of instigate the movement. Um, because obviously, um, with working with people in recovery, um, they're not trained dancers, so they find it quite difficult to um, kind of remember choreographic yeah. form. But the amazing thing about it is that it's very organic and it comes from the soul. Okay. And what's the, I mean, what's the story behind Fallen Angels, uh, you know, uh, behind your, your company? Behind yeah, um, well, I'm in long-term recovery myself um, and I'm really passionate about, um, obviously I, I danced with Birmingham Royal Ballet for eight years and I was at the Royal Ballet School. Um, and w when I first came into recovery, I started experimenting with bits of choreography. Um, so I'm really passionate about recovery, passionate about dance, theatre. We put the two together and then we've started to develop groups and stuff like that. Okay. But, but one of the, um, the, the stories is, um, I remember we got some funding from the Arts Council and um, I remember going to the studio and the ideas were, it was just a block in the ideas. I remember going home to my wife and I was saying there's something stopping me from kind of this creative thing and I was teaching in a rehab the next day. Um, just movement, and there was this guy, he just got out of prison, 17 years, arm robbery, heroin addict, and um, he showed me this painting on his phone, and it was a uh, picture of Christ, and it was kind of been ripped apart, but there was hope in his face as well, and he called it sacrifice, mm. and it really resonated with my own recovery journey, it was one of the most beautiful things I'd seen. Mm. Um, and he, um, I, I said, do you mind if we work from that? So he was like, sure, so, so, we had a week's rehearsal with the professional dancers. I created a duet, um, called it Sacrifice. I took the, the video footage back to him and to show it to him, and he, um, he just broke down in tears. Um, so that was a pivotal moment for, for me. I thought, well, if this really reaches him, he's probably never been in the theatre before, never mind connecting with contemporary dance, maybe there's something we've got. Oh, well, done. absolutely. Well, it seems uh, the audience's response is probably very similar to uh, others, and certainly some in high places, because I understand uh, you recently got a chance to perform for the Queen. Yeah. Uh, so how did that come about, and, and what was it like? Well, we're a um, resident company at Story House Chester, which is the new theatre, and um, we got the news last week. Um, they said there's a VIP coming, but they couldn't tell us what it is, who it was, um, and then we found out it was the Queen which was amazing. Um, and then they told us that we'd actually be talking to her as well. So yeah, last Thursday I was speaking to the Queen and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, which was a real honor for us because uh, in my career, I danced for Princess Diana and Princess Margaret, but I don't think the Queen's really into ballet. So I never had the opportunity to dance for the Queen. So these guys had the opportunity to dance for, yeah, Her Majesty the Queen, so it was a real honor. And I remember Frank, who was dancing today, he said um, it was the best day of his life. Brilliant. So it's a really powerful moment. So, so out of such a desperate situation, people's lives, all the carnage, can come something really quite beautiful. And yeah, they say in recovery, things happen beyond your wildest dreams. And yeah, things do happen beyond your wildest dreams if you well, thank carry you. on the path. Thank, thank you for your story. Thank you for your journey. Thank you. And thank you so much for, to you and your company for, for being here. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's, it's been a real pleasure for us. Thank you very much. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you.